Hi Aidan, greetings from Naworth House. Don't know if you remember this bedroom, this is obviously Bertie's room. And he's got quite a few Lego models lined up, which he's going to explain to you. So in your own time Bertie, take it away. Okay so uh, I'm going to start with my most recent model. Well my, my earliest models and my first model I've kept is this helicopter. Well now I've, I've lost the manual so I can't really do much with it except for fly it around but it has a, a rope handle there and a light, a flashlight there. You, these jets move up and down to move it up to move the plane itself up and down and this this back rotor gets the in, is from the engine and it helps the plane fly and there are a few little rudders here to keep the plane up so it doesn't go like that all the time but sometimes that doesn't work because it's quite a simple model and my next earliest is this model which again is, is um, quite simple it has uh, the wheel wheels at the back are more further out so that it's don't move around too much otherwise it gets a bit blurred that's so it. that it's slightly um, slightly on its edge so that the buggy is almost looking down it's got a almost like a number plate with lights at the back and and you can see through um, into the seat the front has also again almost like a number plate and light and flashlights here the next model includes is the only one that I have which has uh, not really a lego brick which is these elastic bands here this helps suspension so that when you push the back down it automatically goes back up this this model has moving lights and handlebars and the handle itself and it's quite simple really it's got li little ladders there I love the suspension on that one very cool okay and next quite an old one but more complicated and the one that took took one that took quite a lot of time to build was my biggest lego creator model which is this I think one of the wheels is down and it's just a simple quite chubby helicopter with large rotors at the front and the back and it actually has a little side model which is coming out in a moment which is a little jeep and that that little mini jeep can fit into the so cute and if you look through those windows you might just be able to see I'm not sure camera can see inside mm, not quite strong enough. the jeep and you close the door and you can hear it inside and then these wheels you just flick them down because they've got a little space there and then you can fly off and when, you, when you're ready to go all you need to do is take those wheels out and they all come out ready for landing my next model I'm going to show you is um, the only one with four wheels and it's um, a little quad bike. It's got steering at the front, which makes both wheels turn by a mechanism you may be, see, may be able to see at the front. When the back, back wheels turn, and if you look at these cogs here, they make this yellow thing, if you can see inside there, oh, yeah. twist, which then makes a little yellow thing, which you won't be able to see, just in the middle of the thing. The piston go up and down. There are also springs at the front and back. At the back there's one spring. So more suspension like that. So the back can go up and down. And the front, there are two springs, so the front can go up and down. So when, when it goes over rocks, it doesn't have any trouble. The next model, which is quite similar to the quad bike um, in motorbike form, is this motorbike. It's yet to be rebuilt because there is another version of this which I prefer, but I'll show you this anyway. The back wheel obviously moves this massive cog, which via a sh chain moves a smaller cog, which again turns a little yellow thing, which turns another piston. It's quite a low model, so you're going to have to be quite big to sit there and then hold the handlebars. Mm, you could lean, lean forward quite a lot. Mm. I, um, I had to use different pieces here because I'd lost a few, so the handlebars would usually be shorter but in this case I've made them a bit longer. Um, well, 
one of my recent models is this tractor, which There's again, which again, I'm going to remake it hopefully sometime into a crane, but I'm going to keep as it is for now. It's got a little steering wheel at the front and a nice seating arrangement. It's got s several of these stuck inside it. That's the most clearest one for the camera to see. Oh yeah. And they just make so if you twist this, that one moves, making the back go down, for instance. Oh I should have shown you this one here, that's the clearest one actually. So you can see the metal bit. If you look watch carefully you can see it going in and then out. Obviously you can put it in further but and then there's also one, a slightly differently shaped one, which you can't see the start of, or well, you might be able to, in here. So you can see the start of it there. And that just makes the front forks go down through this little mechanism. And if we close it up, we have this. This is the only one that doesn't include wheels and instead it, it uses a trap to go around and the bottom bits stay flat but there's a little platform here and two almost like wheel things here to keep it intact which makes it move around and my most recent one which I made, made just this is, this is amazing ago, is this plane which is a finished model so I won't be remaking this but I might be remaking any one of these that I have the manual of. Um, and this, uh, as you just saw there, if you turn this back bit, the wing will come out. When you um, twist this, just here, if you look carefully at the, this is called the cockpit, where the pilot goes in. That is so cool. And he just has a little, you can see there, the control panel. And this joystick inside the cockpit makes these tail wings move. There we go. Um, so if we put the cockpit back down, and finally underneath, if you might have noticed that this ha also has wheels on, like my um, helicopter. When you turn this, if you look carefully at all of the cogs, they're all moving, trying to get these wheels in and out. I bet this is designed on, based on the same design principles as the real thing. Yes, and this this particular mechanism uses all nine cogs of the set, or nine four pointed cogs. And you can see there's oh, there's a little stopper here, and more clearly here, and there's oh, yeah. also a stopper here. So when I twist the wheels again, here, and twist the wheels again, if you watch that stopper, it hits. So, it can't, so the, that means that the wheels can't do the splits, which would mean that it wouldn't be able to land. So if I put, put the, you know, weren't watching closely at the start, I'll put the wings back in. And then finally, that's all my Lego models shown and explained to you.